Hey everybody, welcome to a special unboxing episode mm -hmm. of the Nerd Herd Show. I'm Nick. I'm Rich. And today we are un unboxing the very first mm -hmm. DC Legion of Collectors box from Funko. Yep. So we've done the Star Wars boxes, we've done the Marvel boxes, now there's a DC box. First one is Batman v Superman, mm -hmm. Dawn of Justice themed. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh. Oh no, things are falling out. Um, turn it around so turn, we can see. Turn it. All right, Folks so, at home can play along. Um, right off the bat, we have the 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 comic co print, co co kind of comic print. We've yeah, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Um, so that's nice. Already a step up over the Star Wars. Uh, that's so weird that they all, that this one they both do it. I don't understand. Um, so we've got a pin. We've got a Superman mm -hmm. pin. Um, he looks kind of silly. I think. Yeah, a little bit. A little silly. Um, and the the classic always has a patch. Mm -hmm. It's a Wonder Woman patch. It's, it's kind of a That's nice cool. patch. Yeah. yeah. As far as the patches go. Yeah, we'll go on your little nice. thing of patches. Yes. All right, what else do we have? Opening it up. Ooh, so we have a shirt. Yeah, keep All right, we'll keep it that it's way. It's like you've never done an unboxing I before. Did, you know? We've got a shirt. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Batman vs. Superman. Uh, like like a boxing thing, yeah. similar to what they had for the Marvel, the, the, the Ultron one. Mm. Um, some of it's in Spanish. I it's, guess. Like a, it's like an old... Uh, like a luchador? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, it's, it says it's like, pres Presentado por Industrias Wayne. <laughs> um, you sure you didn't get chipped the Spanish one? I might have. I mean, it's unclear. Uh, Pretty cool looking. I like yeah. how they're, you know, the old school classic Batman designs. We'll, we'll show you guys that. Yeah, I'm sure. we'll, we'll have a. All right, which one first? Um, well, we knew about this one, so let's yes, see this right. one first. So, this was the one item that they let people knew, know was going to happen. So, we have mm -hmm. the armored Batman Funko Pop. It's pretty cool. Looking. Pretty sweet. Definitely. And uh, as you can see, I am a fan of the Batman Pops. Try and collect yeah. as many as I can. I already have one from this movie, two from this movie, actually. You have two of them. Oh, oh yeah. I see. So. Except this um, movie doesn't suck. Well, it's still Batman. Now I've got the armored one. Pretty, pretty sweet. Alright, and then let's see what we have here in this big collectible mm -hmm. packaging. The Dorbs. The Dorbs. We have a green Superman, mm -hmm. Kryptonite, and a blue Aquaman. Because water. he's in the water. Um, so for those who don't know, Aquaman is going to be in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, spoilers. Apparently most of the Justice League is probably going to be in this movie, and I don't know how the hell that's going to work. But we'll put that there. What do you think of those, the dwarves? Yeah, they're cool. They're fine. They're fine. Yeah. I don't know why they're colorful. Yeah, I'm not super into that, but... Yeah. I don't know. Mm. They're okay. Yeah. I like I like the packaging. I might just leave them in there. Mm -hmm. And we have a comic book. Cool. Batman and Superman. Going going on like a buddy buddy road trip. <laughs> Little road trip. It's kind of like that movie Gone Fishing. Mm. Except Andy Glover, Joe Pesci. Except with Batman and Superman. You know who wrote that movie? Who? J.J. Abrams. Really? Yeah. J.J. Abrams wrote that little shenanigans <laughs> with Danny Glover and Joe Pesci. So, uh, it definitely followed kind of what you would get in the Marvel boxes mm -hmm. pretty heavily. Overall, I, I like the stuff. I'm not nuts about the colors on the dorbs. Yeah. Um, but as like a collector's thing, because I already saw they're coming out with normal looking dorbs of, of all these people. Mm -hmm. So, it, you so know, it's cool. cool. exclusive. Really, I like the armored pop. Um, I would have been more excited about it if that wasn't... I didn't need anything to convince me. They, you know, they released one item out of it. They've done that for all. Yeah. Um... Even the print on the inside. Did Marvel ones have that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the box. Yeah. Mainly, I just needed the Batman pop, and I was sold. I like the shirt, the dwarves, eh. Um, but, like, you know, you, we know what we're getting yeah. at this point. Um, Check. I like, but at the same time, I'm like, I kind of wish there were some bigger surprises, or, or you know, that first Marvel one really knocked it out of the park with that it Hulkbuster. Did. and yeah, Hulkbuster. I don't... The Deadpool one probably is the closest thing that's kind of lived up to See, that. You know, uh, did you take the survey they just did about the Marvel one? Mm, I, I got an email about doing a survey and you had to rank 
the six boxes of the first year. Mm -hmm. I think that they're trying to figure out what people liked, what mm -hmm. people that didn't. For me, the Deadpool one, I had it ranked fit five of six. Oh, really? It, yeah. Um, I liked it. It was just so much of, the, of one thing. I don't know. I think besides the so Age of Ultron one, one what, I, what I would like more is maybe, like, sure, maybe a six-inch one would be cool again. Mm -hmm. But what I, what I really liked was the Secret Wars one, even though it was something that I was yeah not reading but i liked how unique the things in it were mm -hmm. like you an ultimate spider-man one the lady thor two pops you haven't seen anywhere else no not a variant of something like these dwarves or mm. that's what i would like more of um so funko if you're listening we know you are right? yeah yeah Huge of course fans of ours. um but anyway i'm excited for more dc boxes so we're gonna have more unboxings of the, of the marvel boxes yep. we're still both sticking on that so that should be next up. month next no month? Is it? Yeah, next yeah, month is the War. Yep, we have the Civil War box coming up. The next DC box was already announced what it's going to be. It's DC TV. Mm -hmm. So that can Cheer be a lot of things. Of. I can't wait. Um, and we'll see what the next Star Wars theme is. Yeah, Just neither of us are getting the Cantina. Um, so if you want us to unbox that Fungo, send us one. Send us. You can convince us that we were wrong. Yeah, you can get in touch with us. You can get in touch with me on Twitter. Or I'm on Twitter at Rich Dawson. I'm at Stonks. Uh, the channel's on Twitter at OABR underscore official. And you can email us at overbeerofficial at gmail.com. And you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash overbeer. We're on Instagram now as well. Instagram is over underscore A underscore beer, where we post uh, behind the scenes previews, things like that. Um, there's probably going to be a photo of this. So if you yeah. saw this photo, you know when we record, or at least this episode yeah. anyway. Um, you can also find us on YouTube. That whole spiel like, share, subscribe if you can. Um, I guess that'll wrap things up. Like a mummy. Yeah. Like a good old, like a little, little snug mummy mm -hmm. wound up in his, yeah. in his toilet paper. With Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Tom Cruise now. Yeah. We'll just hang out together in a little coffin. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see you guys next time.